Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Today I want to look at the theme of projectors and power. Now, projectors are described in the four types. They're described as a non-energy type. That doesn't mean that they're not powerful. You could have someone like uh, Jodie Foster that has the root and the emotion and the will. They can be very strong. They can be very powerful in their own way. But it's not going to be in the way of sacral power. So when we're looking at sacrals, we're looking at generators. And with projectors, they don't have a sacral, no matter how powerful they may be. So the dilemma is really, what is the sacral power? What is it that the projectors are here to guide? It is life force energy. It is the ability to get things done. It is the ability to do and keep on doing if you respond to it. Well, projectors don't have that. So they have to get in right relationship, as we all do, with the centers that we do not have. And the reason I want to bring this up is because I want to point out a few ways in which projectors can use that guidance in a good way to bring more life to what's around or when it can all go horribly wrong. <laughs> and when it goes horribly wrong, it's very simple. The simple thing is they don't know when enough is enough. So if you take, uh, let's say we take um, a big projector, uh, male or female, but someone with, with physical strength, um, big bodied, you know, and they're trying to fix something or someone says, would you do this? And it's not really, you know, I need some help, they may say to the projector. And the projector, you know, is being asked for help, but help in terms of a physical way. So they go in to try to fix whatever this is to be helpful, because after all, someone's speaking to them and they're not being recognized in the right way. But desperate projectors will take any invitation. So they begin to try to do it and it's too much work. So they use more force and they tend to break things or they tend to use their physical strength in a way that is not balanced. You know, they'll grab you or whatever, you know, they will overdo things. I mean, we will all overdo things in our own not self centers and our not self channels. But when it's when you come to sacral power, using too much force is one of those ways, not knowing when enough is enough. So as a projector who's involved in human design, who wants to live the truth, watch when you're using too much force. We know that if you get involved with too much work for too long, you're going to be exhausted and you're going to keep on keeping on. But if you don't know when enough is enough, you know, you're going to stay up too late. You're going to get caught in the sacral energy um, projectors will follow sacral energy around when it's in the room. I mean, it feels good. It's life force, it's energy. So they can be attracted to that, but also get carried away with it. Another way is when they need energy and they've got someone they're talking to, they will find some way or other to keep the conversation going. See, projectors don't naturally know when enough is enough. With a, with two generators together, one of them's talking a lot and the other one is not responding anymore. The other one will just move and it will be like, you know, it's not a big deal. But with a projector, they have this focused and penetrating and absorbing aura that can really go in and kind of hold you there. I mean, hold you with attention. And the thing is, they bring up some interesting things. Projectors have a lot of wisdom they can share, but still they can go on too long sometimes. So again, it's for the projectors to, to see when things are out of balance. And if you're, if you're living with projectors or if you have projectors around you, just to notice that. And it's really for the generators to know when enough is enough. And for the projectors to see that when the, when the generator is stopping to respond, that is enough. Learning about power, learning about what power well-directed can really do. I have uh, in my network people 
uh, who are very good leaders, who are projectors. And it's it's not about them doing it all. It's about them getting things done. And when you think about generators, you think about people who are here to be satisfied in the living of their life by using all of their energy every day. So a projector that can guide a generator to work that is correct for them is helping them, is helping them to become more satisfied. The trick is not to get pulled in. The trick is for the projector to know that once they get pulled into that sacral energy, when doing is to be done, they can overuse that energy. One, they get exhausted. And two, if you're talking about someone who gets to a position of power in society, like a politician, then power becomes something else. And then not knowing when enough is enough can have devastating consequences for the world. So it's never enough. You know, in Tony, Tony Blair's case, whatever you may think about him, and I'm not political, um, but the point is he gets into being a position of a prime minister, but it's not enough. He's a prime minister that has to demonstrate his power and going into cahoots with uh, George Bush, a manifesto, another non-sacral, you know, to bring wars to us. And then after that into the UN and getting being a big wig in the UN, it's not enough. I want to be a knight, you know, I want to, I want to be, uh, I want a knighthood as well. I want to be called Sir Tony Blair. It's never enough. It's never going to be enough. If you allow this open sacral to run your life, there will be no satisfaction. There will be this just constant running to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Now, projectors that really know how to be in a position of power in a balanced way, they're remarkable. They're remarkable because they are waiting for the invitation. They're, they're penetrating to those people around them. You know, are they ready to move? And with the right wisdom to say, no, I don't think we're, we're going to do this right now. I don't think you're ready or whatever. They will know when the time is because they're feeling into the energy that can get things done. And they can be very good. They can be exceptionally good. So projectors, it's about getting in right relationship to the sacral energy. It's about when you are in a position of power, whether you're in a position of power um, in terms of a relationship, if you're an emotional uh, projector, do you overrun on that energy? Do you do you push the limits and go overboard? You know, what are the consequences of that? What are the consequences of doing anything with too much energy when it's not balanced? It's usually destructive. So look at that. Look at that, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in a business, um, whether it's in a household, whether it's in a family, if you're a projector, just to bear in mind this dilemma of how to guide power rather than how to really try to be something you're not. A lot of projectors um, will want to build their energy up to be powerful, to get super fit, to get super strong, but it's never enough. It's never going to be enough. It's about coming to balance. Something else about power and the life force. We live in a time now where we really need intelligent projectors who are in powerful positions. But we don't want despots and we don't want to be ruled and we don't want to be told what to do because of some idea we need someone who has respect for the life force and projectors in their process cannot understand the life force cannot really know the value of the life force a generator when a generator is doing something they're just doing it their energy is coming out and they're using it and they want to use it if they're using it in something they they enjoy they're satisfied it's not work. Whereas with a projector and with another non-sacrals, doing something is work. And if the life becomes too much about power 
and what power can do, then it takes the projector away from who they really are. It takes them away from what's fixed in their chart. The whole life then becomes about power and what can be done and how to wield it and how to show that you have it. And it's a very dangerous thing for all involved. So to be in right relationship with the sacral is also to value the sacral. You know, and generators, when they've worked hard and they take a break, they're taking a break because it's, enough is enough. And once they've had a break, they're ready to do the next thing. If they're being driven to continue to work when it's not correct for them to work, they're not as efficient and they don't like it. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. We don't want those kind of projectors uh, in charge. We want good projectors. We want those intelligent ones. We want those ones that are comfortable with being in a powerful position, not needing to overuse that. That's honoring the life force. And we need that right now. Honoring the life force is very, very important in these times. If you want to know more about yourself, there's a free report in the descriptions below. You can just put in your birth data and it'll it'll give you information. And there are also a lot of uh, videos I've put in the descriptions regarding projectors and what I've had to say about projectors, and uh, including a great video on Ra talking about projectors. You know, projectors are here to come into their ascendancy because of their guidance not because of the the way they can perceive power in an incorrect way we need you projectors we need you to be in right relationship with power and everything goes much better all right well i hope you enjoyed that and if you did uh, please like and share and subscribe and i will be back again very soon with something completely different bye for now